Hey, welcome and join your blended family, all the B fams out there. What up? What's up? How are you doing? You know, today is a special topic because we are getting close to uh, Valentine's. Like Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It is here. And, you know, I, I remember the last Valentine's Day that we did. We entitled it Valentine's Day Sucks. That is true. And yeah, so can you believe it's been a year from that already? And that was a good episode. So this one, we got that means we got to bring it, y'all. Well, and we just had a Monday episode on really those like false expectations or those things about like, what are you expecting from Valentine's? And have you discussed those things? What, what do you want from the Valentine's Day holiday? And we talked holidays in general in different areas, but with Valentine's as a focus. And so here we are now sharing with you guys some ideas. Yeah, so this is the fun part. Like mm-hmm. we talked about all the other part to help curb the drama and all the step family, just crap that can come with it, right? And we want less of that. And so that's kind of what Monday's was. So today we get to talk fun. This is going to be a fun one. We actually have 14. 14. 14 simple, fun, family Valentine's Day ideas that you can use. So the heart behind this is you don't have to use all of them, but as we kind of run down this list Mm -hmm. that I'll take one or two that just really stand out to you or stands out to your family and have some fun with it. So it's going to be a great episode. It's going to be full of Valentine's Day love stuff. Ooh. (laughs) Y'all stay tuned. It's going to be good. All right, we are back, and we are just going to get into it. Let's dive. Let's jump in. Today's is more like a list to give you ideas. So you may, if you're listening to this while you're driving in the car or something, you may not be able to like write these things down. So just take mental note. You might want to go back and just jot some of them down. That way you can decide as Valentine's Day is getting closer, which of these would my family appreciate most? You, You might pick... One for one kid or this for your whole family um, or something to do with your spouse. So just use it like a menu and you get to decide. I've got an idea forming in my head. <laughs> Name that tune. Name that movie. Do you know it? Uh, time, uh, time. Uh, Monty Python? No, that's Time Bandit. Hi. Yeah, that's okay. Go ahead. So Zero. that's whenever you were like, I, I've got these ideas and that's just how my brain works, everyone. Yeah. Just, I have, it is full of movies and full of music and they all come when they when don't need to come, triggers but when they need alive. to come, they don't come. So, I mean, it's a real, I'm, I'm a confusing person, but okay. So Valentine's yes. Day, <laughs> you know, it, it, it is it takes one. Us so <laughs> off topic and then we'll be like, we went too long on that episode. Oh, uh, that's because we spent five minutes talking about what's going on in your brain. <laughs> like, why did you go so long? I don't understand. <laughs> well, you busted out in song like 10 times, honey. And sometimes I'm sure on like the YouTube, I look like I'm looking at you kind of like, <laughs> but it's it's not that I'm annoyed by you. It's like I know we're on a time crunch to get it all to you guys in a timely manner so we can keep these episodes 20 to 30 minutes. So, Well, the, the, but the truth is the heart behind the Valentine. Do you see what I did there? Uh, the I heart did. behind the Valentine is that we are creating moments, right? We're creating things to do with our family. This is kind of one of those holidays that I think for a lot of guys, we can let it slip or we cannot, um, you know, we don't take full advantage of this or even as a blended family that we're not taking full advantage of this. Well, and I think as women, we also are very passive. At least I know I am on Valentine's because it's one of those that I feel like, let me sit back and see what he's going to do. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and I'm kind of, and I'm looking going, Oh, she's not saying anything. She's not expecting anything. All right, I'm not going to do much. Uh, and that's so, not the case. Yeah, but that's we not just, the case. It all comes down to communication. We that last time when we talked about our expectations. We did. We and did. so now we're going to start sharing with you some of these ideas. They're in order from like the beginning of the day to the end of the day, just to keep that in mind. And then we also shared ideas on here because we know you're a blended family 
And you may not be in the same state as your kid, but that doesn't mean that you can't or show them. Or same town, same yes. city, whatever. Yeah. So some of these, it's if you do, you plan ahead of time. Well, if you have Amazon Prime, you only have to plan two days ahead of time. <laughs> but if you plan, then you can still acknowledge this child or this person that you love in some way. And then keeping in mind as we're going through this list of your family and their love language, because mm. we, we've shared that in episodes before with some people are physical touch, some like quality time, some like, like words of encouragement or affirmation, some like gifts. And then some, where am I going with my fifth one? Oh, acts of service. Acts of service. So, I was fixing to give it to you. Keep that in mind when you're thinking of your kids as well and even your spouse because that might decide which one of these you choose. And so, yeah. you ready to get into it? Let's do it. Okay. Y'all ready? Okay. So, as we said, this does not mean do all 14 unless you're just an overachiever and you have time to do it. I will it. say I'm an overachiever and extra and she I would will not try do it. all 14 of these. This would there be, you go. It would be too much and you would not enjoy the holiday, you would not enjoy your blended family because you would feel like you have given of yourself. And at the end of the day, on Valentine's, when your partner might want a little bit more from you, you won't have anything left. <laughs> hey, honey. <laughs> Sorry. Remember me? I'm all Valentine's out. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. It doesn't so, bother me. Oh, and then another point, off though. The room crying. Another point that we had to point out, because he's crying in the other room. Valentine's is on the 14th. As it you is. know, it is. What? so it's not a weekend every year, every, week. every year it's on, on the 14th. Yes. What? It's not a weekend holiday. And when you got 14 simple fun. Oh yes. I wasn't making what? that connection for you right then in that moment. But my point in saying that is it might be, and I, I'm trying to think what day of the week, I think it's like a Tuesday or a Wednesday this year. And so when you're doing Valentine's, you may have, church that night or you might have soccer practice right you might have these things and you can't fit things in you might have a movie to watch yeah you might what no No. and football will have been over for a couple days at that that point that is true so no no excuses there (laughs) so the point that i'm trying to convey though is one it doesn't have to be a nighttime celebration. These that ideas that we're giving you, you can do little things throughout the day or in the morning, and it could be a great Valentine celebration. Or what a way to wake your after. kids up. Yes, so let's get into it, okay? <laughs> it's, it's like, hey, get for Valentine's Day! And they're like, oh, leave me alone, Dad. No, this is how you wake them up. You wake <laughs> them up with the sweet aroma of breakfast. Oh, that is true. So the first thing on the list is making something. And it's something... just a scented candle. <laughs> <laughs> Fooled you. Not real bacon. Oh, it's not April, sorry. It's not, it's not real bacon. <laughs> That's true. But maybe make a heart-shaped waffles or pancakes. Here's a really cool idea, and I've actually tried so this. So this is number before. one. This is number, number one. one. Heart-shaped breakfast. And heart-shaped breakfast. If you have a waffle maker, ours waffle maker, for some reason, makes for the whole waffle, it's it's little hearts that go around. I don't know if they plan that. If I just accidentally bought a heart-shaped waffle maker, I think I got it for our wedding or something. But you can actually put cinnamon rolls, like you buy in the can, mm. and you unwrap and it pops and mm-hmm. everything. You can take a cinnamon roll and That's stick it too. down in there and then close it up and it will make you your heart shaped. It makes your waffles, but because it's divided in these little heart shapes and then you put the icing on it and it's just delicious. I think they've changed those cans now. I think they have it to where it won't pop, but you have to like make it pop. So you know how they used to like, just you never knew as random when it would oh, pop, yeah. like a jack in the box type unwrapping. thing. Unwrapping, yeah, and it just pop. I think now you have to actually take them or twist them or whatever. I think the ones that I've had to do uh, probably over the past few years, but I'm still trained and have PTSD so much that you know I'm just like <laughs> it's me, it's me, it's me. <laughs> and it doesn't. And you're like one eye, and you think it's like a grenade fixing to go off anytime. And so, but anyways, that's beside the point. <laughs> it's very beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> waffle 
Uh, so cinnamon roll waffles. You can make cinnamon roll waffles. Those are good. You could just make regular heart-shaped waffles. You can make pancakes in the shape of hearts. You know, you just, if you put your pancake mix in one of the little squeezy things, like the ketchup from the dollar store, the little red and orange mustard and ketchup, then you can squirt it out a little bit easier on there if you have like little metal heart-shaped Um, cookie cutters you can use that so just finding different ways like that adding in some little sprinkles or something or strawberries to give it that little red color but just going the little extra mile with your breakfast and make it heart shaped heart shaped heart shaped a box okay (laughs) um number two post-it notes all over their door or car Yes, and this is one, if your family, someone in your family loves words of encouragement um, or affirmation, and especially, man, your daughters, they need this. I don't oh, know how, yeah, much, this how much the dudes do, but I know. We do. I, we do more than you think. Really? Mm-hmm. So do you appreciate it when I always do the post-it notes around for I you? I do, yeah. I left and you've even done that in the car before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've jumped in the car and uh, just something a little special. Kind of yeah. words of encouragement. I'm like a them. post-it note fan. I should probably yeah. have stock in it because I you will should. use it for several things. But using it before they wake up, you take these post-it notes and you just write like, you know, a handful of things. You know, the more and the more colorful post-it notes, I think, make it a lot more fun. But put them on their door so that when they open up their door in the morning, they see all these little messages. And then you could, even if you have teenagers that are driving in their own car, take it that next step they'll think you miss them or whatever but have it like all in on their steering wheel and windshield and that kind of stuff so they when they get into their car they have this nice little surprise yep that is it really is it's a powerful thing in fact yeah we've even had our uh daughter sit there and come back and say hey y'all haven't given a post-it note in a while yes so so yeah they really do your kids will they cherish that stuff yeah and if you get this ahead enough in enough time you can even like from the time you hear this until valentine's doing like one a day like a little Mm. note and they my kids have always appreciated that and they save them they stick them on their mirror it's just even when he make when randall gives me a little words of encouragement on a post-it note i stick that somewhere and keep that forever because it just makes my heart happy so yeah there was one time that i was going back to school finishing my degree and I was like last semester, mm-hmm. I came into the room because at our room at that time also was my office, uh, AKA study desk for school. Mm-hmm. And I walked in, she had uh, just a, a stream of post-it notes in a line. <laughs> all, it, it took up about half of the room. It was almost it was. like, yeah, just, just kind of like a line that, that circled the room but it was a countdown to the day so each day you would take one <laughs> off and she had like something on there you know some either word things yeah, on or the something front, like that it was that. like it was a like, countdown with numbers but on mm-hmm. the back had some sort of like either words of encouragement in. or like now the ones where i told him to buy himself something he never did but yeah. <laughs> i was yeah. like buy something off your amazon list i, I wasn't 100 percent great at following through with but every was single a, one yeah, but it was a cool the, idea yeah. it was the principle of the matter <laughs> so, <laughs> number two post-it notes all over their doors or their car so yeah what a easy but yet powerful thing that you can do yeah and number three is decorate a common room so wherever you spend a lot of time if that's in your kitchen You just go to the the dollar store. They have so many little cheap decorations. And we've talked about this with other holidays, trying to make them special. Once you make that initial investment, most of those things can be reused. Balloons are such a cheap, easy way to decorate stuff. And just go and just make that room special looking. So when they come in in the morning, they're like, ah, yeah, Valentine's Day. And it just gives you a little bit of excitement. But pick that room. That's where the family spends the most time at for the day. Yeah, and that can even be a lead up to Valentine's Day. I know kind of like for Halloween and Christmas, mm-hmm. how you would do decorates maybe the week before you get your whole family involved and y'all just decorate a room. That way you're constantly seeing it and just kind of reminded of that fun and just that connection y'all had doing it. But yes. it kind of helps celebrate that that time of the, the year. Yeah, and uh, Christy, your stepmom, she does amazing with that, with the different holidays, even the little holidays. Mm-hmm. She has just place placemats that she puts down and some little streamer type things and little balloonish decorations that she pulls out for each of the holidays and it i don't know even as an adult i mean we're in our 40s and it's like hey yay it's a holiday yeah. so 
Yeah, so good stuff. So, all right. So, that's three. Number four. Now, this one, on your way, you have to plan ahead. And especially if you have kids, you're trying to get out the door on these school days. But plan to stop. You can either let them know ahead of time. That way, I would have to tell the kids, hey, I want us to stop and get some breakfast since it's Valentine's Day. So we need to be out of the house by this time if we want to do that. Give them that little warning. But if your kids don't have a problem of getting out the door, and then surprise them with it. But if you go through Chick-fil-A, this is not a sponsored ad for Chick-fil-A, but if you go through Chick-fil-A on Valentine's Day, you get a heart-shaped chicken biscuit. What? Yes. Is that not cool? I, mean, I just want to know how the chickens made that. You know, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure that the chicken is. I think it's just the biscuit. Oh, it's the biscuit? Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a heart-shaped biscuit. I wonder how the chickens made the biscuit. Oh, so gosh. Weird. It's the cows that make it. <laughs> <laughs> is it the chicken or the cows? I don't know. So but it may not be going through Chick-fil-A. But it could even- be a donut run. Maybe you are stopping and getting donuts and... You know, yeah, and we had a conference today, a marriage conference, and there was heart-shaped donuts at the conference since it was like a marriage thing. So just looking into that ahead of time, or if your kids love coffee, you're driving through and getting them a, a coffee. Heart-shaped or coffee. A pink drink for Valentine's Day. Yeah, heart-shaped. He just comes. <laughs> I'm full of it What's today. funny is he he believes he's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, yes, yes. I really don't. Sometimes I say it, and I'm like, "Yeah." I'm if Riley was anyway. here, she would tell you how much of a dad she that she was. would. She she yeah. would. But that's okay. So number five. Number five. This is a great one. If your kids do not live with you or near you, you're not going to see them on Valentine's Day. True. And instead of having that, oh man, I'm so sad. I wish mentality that we can get right because we love our kids and we we want to be with them. But if you're not going to be with you, take the opportunity, grab your phone. I suggest use an app like your filters inside your Snapchat or your TikTok or your Instagram. You have the little filters on there just to make it fun. It makes it silly. It takes, you're going to be giving them something serious, but it adds just a little bit of silliness to it and tell them five reasons why you love them. So you have the post-it note idea for your kids that live with you, but if your kids are not with you, just take time, record a short little message and send it to them in text format or tag them or whatever send it to them in their dms so that they wake up or just throughout the day whenever you're thinking about them because a lot especially our teenage children when they're in that dating stage and they begin to like oh it's valentine's everybody has a a, you know a special person and i don't have anybody and when they have their their father or their mother just saying that they love them it's you know yeah. A special place in your heart. And even if you did it both, right? You know, I mean, this doesn't that, you know, what a cool thing that both of you are sending them something separately, mm. but it's something, you know, five reasons why you love them and just kind of yeah. give them that encouragement. So now they're getting it from uh, both parents, right? So not, and what a way yeah. for a bonus parent, a step parent to be able to really communicate that. And I'm telling you, that helps really break down some of those walls mm-hmm. with your kids. And, you know, it, it, it's just, it's a cool thing. That's and a cool especially thing. guys, I mean, if, if you're listening to this, words like that from your father just hit deep. You want and need that. Your daughters need that. Your stepdaughters need that. Even your sons, they, they need, need to hear too. that you're proud of them. Yeah. So taking that time, just this little reminder, if they live with you or they don't live with you, this mm-hmm. is something that you can do. Yeah. Powerful, powerful. So, all right. So that was number five, number six. So number five was more like for you last minute people that forget to do something. Number six <laughs> is for those that plan ahead. <laughs> so Send, it's it's same concept, but you're going to send them something in the mail. So you do need to plan ahead of time so that you can write these things down in a card and get that off to them so that they'll get it. But even if you forget it's Valentine's Day, if they f- receive it three days later, they're still going to love it just as much. Or something that I saw a lot when a, my friend's kids were going off to college is to send themed boxes. So Every month you might send them a gift box with something. And then Valentine's, it has a pink themed thing. So you're only sending them foods and drinks that are pink or whatever this theme that you decide to send for Valentine's. And you just fill the box up, not expensive stuff. 
just little treats that you know they love and they open it up and it's like, oh, they were thinking about me. And there's something about them receiving it in the mail. That's just, that is a cool thing. It's unique. Now, <laughs> we don't yeah. we don't get that often. Most of the time, the only thing that comes in the mail is bills. So whenever mm-hmm. you get something like that, especially for your kids, because they don't receive a lot of mail. So whenever you come in and say, hey, there was something in the mailbox for you. They're like, what? When so I know game like, changer. Riley moved this last year to mm-hmm. another state, and we were needing to send her something that she had left. But we took some time, and we wrote, a, we both wrote a card and put it in there. And then he had thrown some like hot tea in there that she loves that we had extra. I don't even think, right. You didn't even go buy it specifically for that. Yeah. Well, but, I, it was here and it was like all sealed up, you know, it was like a new thing. And it was like, you know, she loves this. She, I remember her, you know, it was just kind of one of her special teas that she really liked. And I'm like, you know, she'd appreciate this. Let me throw that in there. So, yeah, it's just kind of, kind of cool things that you can do. And you then know, she called. Just, I was out of town that weekend, and she called and was like, leave, or she left me a message and just said her and her sister reading the card yeah. had them both in tears. And that's not my goal. I mean, maybe sometimes to make them cry, but it just meant so much. Um, our words of encouragement to her and her sister, mm-hmm. which has no relation to us, right? But it just spoke to both of their hearts and had them like, oh, they care. They love us. Yep. So yep. Cool your thing. kids will feel the same thing. So number seven. Number seven is it's a in between those that are last minute and the planners. Okay. It's your Amazon Prime. Prime it. Hallelujah. Thank you. I don't know what Amazon Prime costs anymore, but it's totally worth the amount of money you pay once a year for you to, which I think ours is coming up here pretty soon. It is. To be able to get things in two days. So your kid Sometimes lives, one day. We've actually true. had it the same we day. We have had it come the same which day. Which is insane. I don't get that. I, but, yeah, I don't understand the um, but that's pretty awesome. scientificness of that, yeah. how that happens. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, and if you're not priming it, then, you know, if it takes a little longer, plan for that. Yes, but the reason, because that was a whole different one, but for Amazon Prime, you can have it sent, or even Target does it as well, you can have something sent just directly to them, so it's not like you have to get buy it for them and then go ship it off, you can just have it delivered to them specially, so just be thinking with that in mind, like what is something, like our kids, we like to have an Amazon wish list going, we have something for each other, where we just have like, we are putting stuff in our um, what is it called? Your it's it's our list. Your list. Yeah, that's yeah, just it's a it's personal called. list. Yeah, my uh, list. So you're adding that on your list, and so every once in a while you can go and look and see. Okay, these are some things that they want, but maybe they're not necessarily going to buy them for themselves and send it to them. This is more for your kids that gift receiving is their love language. You want to speak their love language. So if they love to receive gifts, use this as a prime opportunity. Prime. <laughs> <didn't even> <laughs> there you did. So we are going to come with the last seven right after this. Y'all stay tuned. It's time to have some more blended family fun. Yeah. Are you ready? What was that? I've been really working on this song. What, what do you think? Um, sure. It's great, babe. Well, it goes along with how to enjoy your blended family. You know, the five dates to discover fun in your step family? The greatest thing since sliced bread for blended families? Okay, I get it now. I feel your excitement. Why don't you tell them about it instead of singing it to them? Wow, okay, shut me down. Why don't you? All right, all right let me try. Uh, when you have more fun together... You see less blended family drama, but we can get so caught up in life and problems that we miss out on really enjoying our family. So we'll walk you through five dates where you'll discover more fun your family loves and have a great plan to keep it going. How's that? Pretty good. Short and sweet. I know that got them way more excited about all the fun possibilities they can experience with their family than your song did. What? Seriously? Well, you could have also told them that it not only creates more fun in their whole family doing this, but it also adds more fun in their marriage and gives them new ways to connect with their kids individually. It's also great for building that step-parent relationship. You could have said all that too. I don't think you really appreciated all the work that I put in on that song. Aye, aye, aye. Anyways, 
How to Enjoy Your Blended Family, Five Dates to Discover Fun in Your Step Family is available for you today. Discover more fun and you'll see less problems. The link to get started is in the show notes of this episode. Have more fun with your blended family and go on these five dates today. You'll be so glad you did. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Really? You had to go there again. Let's get back to this episode. All right, all right, all right. Number eight. Number, Number eight. eight in the his house. Number eight. Number this eight. Is his now, house. This will be more when your kids get out of school now. So most of these. Or now, if you if you're doing it in school, then that that'll be kind of. <laughs> hey, get your interesting. Kids, go check your kids out of school. Early. No, do not do that. Don't do that because it's Valentine's Day party day, and they'll be missing out on all of the fun. So don't do that. Don't but do that. Don't do that. when you get home, if you have some time in the evening, these the rest of these are all going to be ideas that you could do in that few hours you have while your family are all together. So number eight is a cupcake decorating party. Cupcake? Yeah, you can actually already make... Who doesn't like cupcakes? Oh, yeah, I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan too. (laughs) You can make the cupcakes, the cake itself, up ahead of time. And then just have all of these like little extra toppings that y'all can take some time and decorate it and make it look like whatever you want to do. They have different, like you can put it in a Ziploc bag and you can make different designs on it. So just make it as fancy as you, as you want. If your kids love sweets, which most kids do. Most do, yes. And then if your kids, especially if they love baking or if they're artsy, we did this like with our, at Christmas, a cookie decorating one. And man, my daughter-in-law has like such an artistic ability. She made my son on the cookie. Now that it, it looked like a a generic version of him, but it still, it was like, it was so fun to see her take it to that next level because we're over here just like lathering up some icing and putting some sprinkles. <laughs> so yeah, cupcakes will always win hearts. So that's yeah. number eight. It will always win hearts. Did you get that on Valentine's <laughs> yes, Day? You were full, there we go. Full, okay. full, full of full them of it. today. Yep. <laughs> number nine, I love this idea. Dress up and cook dinner, or maybe not in that order, and eat your non-fancy dinner on fancy plates. You know that china that you never use? Bust those bad boys out. And you might be having chicken nuggets and some mac and cheese, maybe some tater tots if you're like me, but eat it on fine china. Go in your closet and find fancy outfits to wear. I actually stole this from Rachel Hollis because it's something her and her family would do. Mm. But you know that that suit jacket or that dress, that prom dress or that dress you wore on the cruise that you never um, have an opportunity to wear? Go put that thing on. Let your kids put on their Sunday best that they wore for Easter last year and just have a night of it. Light some candles, turn off the lights, and eat your nuggets and mac and cheese on your Sloppy fine Joe's. Train. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Sloppy <laughs> Joe's on that <laughs> fancy dress. I don't know about that one. <laughs> so that's number nine. Number 10. This is probably one of your favorites now. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Number 10 is karaoke night. Karaoke night. And in case you're like, I don't have a karaoke machine. Guess what? You don't have to have a karaoke machine for karaoke night anymore. All you need is your television that is a smart television that can hook to YouTube. And you can type in like karaoke. Any song. Moana song or whatever. Any song. Frozen. Any song that they have out there, they have a karaoke version of it. You don't need real microphones. If you have them, cool, great, pull them out. Get you some whisks, get you some hairbrushes. Just make the memories together. So people are going, whisk? What what do you mean by that? Oh, not everybody sings with a whisk in their kitchen? No, you may want to explain that. So (laughs) that could be your microphone is where that goes. (laughs) Someone's going to message later and go, whisk? Why why do you need a whisk? I mean, I just (laughs) assume everybody that's singing in their kitchen is using a whisk. For for those who do not. Because they look just like a microphone. There you go. So that's what that is. Grab you something that represents a microphone. 
to you, there you go. and use that. And yes, it may not magnify your voice, but now they have those even those really cool handheld. You can buy them for like twenty bucks, and they morph your voice or project mm. your voice. And it's a really um, easy way to have like a mobile microphone and they're usually like really flashy and fun so grab a couple of those and have a karaoke night step outside of your fear and that's what randall was talking about i just stepped out and sung karaoke for the first time in front of people and it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be um and now i think i want to do it more often (laughs) she's gonna be like a karaoke queen now. but we'll see so plan a karaoke night make a a playlist let some kids pick the songs they want to sing and just have some fun in the living room together number 11 let's get the party started with a little dancing happening (laughs) Uh, uh, uh. If you hadn't guessed, that's a dance party. Dance party <laughs> did you, did, for did anyone get that from that? Eleven. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, I thought they thought we were going to go do something else. Oh no, this is PG. <laughs> PG. Dance party. This is like having a party in your living room. Like yeah. kick it up, and you know, even if you have a strobe light. If oh, you that have would a, be a lot of fun. One of those little glitter balls. Um. <laughs> A really quick fun fact. They probably fact. even have an app for that. When Randall and I married, <laughs> he had a strobe light under his bed. I, I did. still don't know 100% the background story of that. <laughs> but the kids were wanting to have, like, they were making and planning some sort of fun night. And somehow it got brought up that he had this strobe light and we pulled it out and they were having a blast with this strobe light. Yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> and that was fun. <laughs> and even just, just make it fun. Put some of those like fun, just dance songs. Maybe you want to put a slow song and, you know, dad dance with your daughter and, you know, mom with the son, mix it up a little bit, but just take 30 minutes um, to an hour just to cut loose, be silly, let them jump on the furniture a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking of what, what is it that you're like going and you're doing something all of a sudden uh, the bell rings and it's like, you got to stop what you're doing and break dance or do something, you know, crazy. So yeah, you could even do that with your family like, dance party. And then just, and then everybody comes out and everybody's running into the living room to dance. That does sound fun. Yeah. We should try that sometime. Kind of like a flash mob or something. So there you go. That's number 11. Number 12. Number 12, which is one of my favorites, not just Valentine's, but random things, especially summer nights, go on a late night ice cream run. So every town usually has some place that serves some sort of ice cream or frozen yogurt. Take some time. Everybody just jump in the car, even if it's Sonic. Jump in the car and go drive and get you some ice cream. Y'all can get out and enjoy a little time together. It's cheaper than y'all all going out to eat dinner together because dessert costs a little bit less. Or Sometimes. you can just drive through Sonic and everybody get their favorite dessert and bring it back to the house. But just something about just getting out and making it, have your pajamas on, you know, Ooh. like and get out. It just adds a little novelty to it. Yeah, and... Who doesn't like ice cream, in the, especially like a big banana split? Oh, my goodness. Mm. Mm. But, yeah, probably not the best thing to do right before you go to bed. But not that's, do it. On Valentine's, that's okay. On that day, why do not? Do it. And why this not? way, everybody gets their own selection versus you going and buying, like, um, a tub of ice cream, and we all have to eat the same one. You all get to go and have your, like, if you want to get a milkshake or a hot fudge sundae, you know, you get your choice. Now, number 13 is kind of like a twofer, isn't it? Kind of. It's, it's actually like an experience. Okay. Go out, light a fire, and make a little bonfire, and you can do some s'mores. You can have a little, like, sing-along, kumbaya moment out there. Kumbaya. If you have someone musical in your family, bring the guitar out and just sit around. You want me to go get the guitar? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, please. Let's get, let's do a little jam of that. All of a sudden, he gets really backwoods country. I, I don't thinks. know why. Yeah, I don't know. That's just weird. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I yeah. mean, one of my favorite smells, though, is, is a true. fire. And yes. there's just, it's a nice, perfect, cold, wintry weather outside. So mm-hmm. build you a fire and go sit outside and make it special. Yep. That is a good one. And you can't beat a s'mores. S'mores is good. You cannot. So last one, number 14. 
This one is your more chill, probably more common, but you can take it next level. So it's your movie night. Now, you could just have a movie night inside, sitting on your couch, which might look like your every other day (laughs) of the week. So maybe taking a, a favorite movie and doing like a dinner to go along with that movie and have it have like a theme. If you've listened to any of our podcasts um, in the past, we talk about movie theme nights. So you're just picking an activity that they do on that movie. You're picking a, a food related item from that movie and having a little fun with that. Or if you have an, a projector, take the movie outside. Or we've even seen people just take their computer outside. Put a blanket out on the ground. Get you some pillows and stuff to cuddle up. Put your laptop out in front of you and you all just lay there and watch a movie together. Yeah. And that's really fun because that breaks up what you normally would do. Taking it out doors. Yeah. But the mm-hmm. trick with that one is is you normally have to wait till it does get dark. So we've tried to do that before, like we plan uh, outdoor movie nights, and it's just not quite dark enough that we've done that, like with projectors and things like that. So be cautious of that. That's the difference is when we do it, it's normally in summertime when it gets late. That is true. It gets dark a lot later. Right now, it's getting dark at like... 5.30, so this is a perfect time. Even though we think, oh, it's cold, we don't want to go outside, take some time, bundle up, and watch that movie outside. Build a fire. Oh, yeah, take, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do it. So you could do that, and you could do your s'mores while watching a movie. Mm, Boom. That sounds like a perfect evening. You just did number 13 and 14 Can you plan that for Valentine's for us? Uh, We probably can. Can we make that happen? We could make that happen. Yeah, we could do that. So there there you go. go. (laughs) (laughs) So that's 14 ideas right there that you can do on Valentine's Day to make it super special for you and your family. So this is just a way that we can become intentional and that we can just tell our family how much we love them. Tell our kids. I'm saying our biological kids. I'm saying our bonus kids. We need to be telling them, and what a way to do that by taking some of these ideas and using it. Yeah. So there it is. So listen, have a great and happy Valentine's Day. Make it special, and y'all go have a lot of fun. Uh, And all these things that we just talked about, we'll put them in the show notes. That way, if you're like, what was number one? What was number five? We'll put them in there. That way, you can do a quick reference to them. That's smart. But we will have that there for you. That way you can look and just go have some fun. Take one, take two. If you're an overachiever and you want to do them all, maybe if you're getting started, you do two a day. Who knows? I don't know. Just whatever. Whatever you want to do. (laughs) You know, we just put it in your court and you take the ball and you just go play. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. But no, listen, we love you. And y'all seriously have a happy Valentine's Day. Love you, B-Fam. Bye. Thanks for joining us today. We hope this episode has been a blessing and encouraged your family journey. Make sure you stay connected with us and join our weekly blended family newsletter. We send an email out every Friday morning full of support and encouragement. And when you join, we also want to give you a free gift. So go get yours today. The link is in the show notes below. Have an amazing day. Remember to enjoy the journey with your blended family. And we'll see you on the next episode.